The Junior Duck Stamp is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service conservation education program that combines science, art history, and social studies, plus an art contest. We have one from each state, all 50 states, one from D.C., one from each of the territories, U.S. territories that participate. So this year we had a total of 53 with Puerto Rico and U.S. Virgin Islands participating along with D.C. and all 50 states. Fellow says there are some general guidelines kids use when drawing waterfall. Their general guidelines are to create a unique piece of artwork that demonstrates what they have learned about wetlands and waterfowl um, conservation. Fittingly, the judging for this year's National Junior Duck Stamp Contest was held in North Dakota. North Dakota is the duck production area of our, of our country and it is a great state to celebrate the artwork that these students do. Five judges were involved in determining the winning artwork. One of those was North Dakota Game and Fish Deputy Director Scott Peterson. It was very enlightening to find out that you know, there's so many kids across the country with that kind of artistic talent. And, and they're all junior high, high school age kids. Peterson says it was an honor to be part of the judging team. Daniel Schumacher of Linton represented North Dakota in the contest, and his painting of Canada geese, titled Lakeside Pear, made a good showing. I got into the second round, so top 25. The winning artwork, an emperor goose submitted by a student from Georgia this year, is made into a stamp. About 3,000 of those stamps are sold every year, with 100% of the money going back into the program to ensure the junior duck stamp continues for years to come. Fellow says it's so important to involve kids in conservation. They are our future, and if we can't get our students at this age to care about it, it's not going to be here in 10, 20, 30 years. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.